You're festive. Oh, we festive. We festive as fuck up in this bitch. Yeah, you know why you're festive as fuck? Because it's New Year's Eve. No, because it's <laughs> raining where you are, and nobody's setting off fireworks. What is Actually, on Dan's head? Is in the rain. Oh. What in the Dan's name also of festive as fuck? What in the name of God did you put on your head, man? <laughs> this flare. is my festive flare. It's flare. It also makes cats look at you like this. Yeah, Peggy's been hypnotized for like the last <laughs> hour by both of us. Like, she keeps like running oh, up and then just being like... Would you like one of these? Dottie's not sure if she's like fascinated or terrified. Because also, when I go into the kitchen, I'm a disco ball. Yeah. I'm a multicolored disco ball well, in the kitchen. We don't have a lot of time for pres pleasantries this week because we are racing the clock. Gotta um, get right down to business. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, come on. While we are doing this, we are about 40 minutes away from the end of 2018, and we're going to be here with you for it. But also, this is a... Uh, a big night for us here on radio on uh, what the fuck is wrong with you on Radio Dead Air, um, because it's time for the rectal spective. Hell yeah! So this is going to be a special one. You get to find out what went in people's holes this year. Orifices! Yay! All right. So with that, let's begin. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And it's time for the final look at our December feature we do here on Radio Dead Air. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the final uh, check-in. Go watch. Everybody's holes. Well, yeah, but first off, it's Goat Watch. 2018, yes. the final look. Go watch. Da -da 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 -da. And this, I gotta say, I'm I'm impressed because this year, the goat, it went two and zero. Oh. Yes. It has. If it the survived. If oh, it's. Hi, Simba. Actually, no. By the time this is happening, it's already New Year's Day in Amazing. Sweden. The Gavla Goat has survived into 2019 without, goat. without being burned down. So it's 2 and 0 now. It has gone However, two years in a row. RIP smaller goat. Yeah. Do we have like a montage set <laughs> by Sarah McLaughlin that no. we can play? Sadly, but yeah, this is a live the look right now. They filed themselves neatly in Dan's desk. Peggy's on the top shelf, Simba's on the bottom. This is this is a live stream right now. The the goat. It's five a.m. in uh, in Sweden and in twenty nineteen. Uh, twenty nineteen. They're in the future. Yes. And good job, goat. The goat lives. I think that's a good sign. I think that means twenty nineteen is going to be a good year. By the way, I'm going to have to link to Atomic Comic, Atomic's Comics for making that, uh, that... That logo is sweet. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably keep using that. I'll link to it in this week's uh, What the Fuck is Wrong with You so that people can check out his Tumblr. Uh, thank you again. I appreciate that. That was that was very, very generous of you. Getting a little festive here. And this happened uh, December 27th. Not so this was now. a returns brawl. A returns... Oh, God. Um, <laughs> in America, the week after Christmas, everyone thinks, oh, you made it through Christmas. It's good. You're done. No. Because all the fucking kids are still off school, and everybody's in the mall to return all the shit they didn't want and use up their gift cards. <laughs> it's just as bad. It gets no better. Manchester police say they made four arrests. Four arrests! Only four following a brawl that involved up to 300 people at Buckland Hills Mall on Wednesday. Around 6 p.m., officers responded to a report of a large fight and disturbances inside the mall involving mostly juveniles. Lieutenant Ryan Shea said the initial fight started in front of Forever 21. <laughs> I just love I love how we have to throw in those. It started in front of the Forever 21, spilled over to the Orange Julius, and by the time it reached the hot topic, it was carnage. Um, By golly, if it made it to Pottery Barn, we'd all be done. <laughs> uh, it's... 
What are you printing? Nothing. Now, now here's here's the funny thing. Sorry. A similar incident happened in 2016 at the mall. People believe the incident was planned on social media. We're planning brawls at the mall? So we used to have flash mobs, which were kind of nice, because people would plan to get together, yeah. and they'd sing and dance and do these little choreographed numbers, and everybody joined in. It was neat. Now we have flash mobs. That's Different not, kind of mob. That's not what that's supposed to mean. No. Flash mob 2.0. This is, this is oh, not... Oh, apparently another fight closed another Connecticut mall. T tonight? What day was this story from? The 27th. Okay, so same day, the Connecticut Post Mall, which is a much, much bigger mall than Buckland Hills, closed also because of fights. So we're we're we're, like, we're crowdsourcing the purge. Is that what's happening? Great, because that means it's going to be called Purgy McPurge Face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's... maybe 2019 isn't our year. Burn the goat. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Um, well, this is back to uh, your least favorite drug. Um, I, I always, I think back to uh, the Dark Knight when it, when he goes, uh, uh, they got the guy locked up for, for being his own little Batman. And yeah. Batman says, What's the difference between he says, what's the difference between you and me? And Batman says, we're occupied. <laughs> okay, this is kind of like that. I'm Batman. This is kind of like that, except with God. Um God wears <sighs> hockey pants? <laughs> high on meth, man claims to be God, then tries to rob Allentown liquor store <laughs> and 7-Eleven on Christmas Day. I mean, it's his kid's birthday. <laughs> Let him have some fucking beer. It's his kid's birthday. A man who was high on methamphetamine made several attempts to rob an East Allentown liquor store and then a 7-Eleven on Christmas Day when he was stopped by customers. Uh, Eladio M. DeLeon, that's a name, 27 of the 500 block of North 15th Street, allegedly told an employee at Union Beverage uh, that, quote, he was God and he was upset they won't like, let him take what he wants. This is like the sequel to The Christmas Shoes. <laughs> Please, sir, it's my son's birthday. <laughs> and I really want to give him this beer, but I'm a few cents short. So yeah, it's like, so I'm, fuck you. I'm not wearing hockey pads. If you're God, you don't yeah. need to ask. Yeah. That's the benefit of being God. Right. You're God. Here's a quick check to find out. And if honestly, if you're God, you don't even need to go to the liquor store. Just give your kid some water. <laughs> <laughs> Read your own book, bro. <laughs> if, if, and I love, he wasn't armed. He just tried to, to go in there and, and say... You know, okay, the first time DeLeon attempted to steal two 16-ounce bottles of Corona, but a customer stopped them, and he dropped the bottles into a shopping basket and left. He later re-entered the store, went to the counter area, made the comment about being God, and shoved a female employee to get to the cash register. He made several attempts to open the register, but left with nothing. You know, I'm not, God would be able to work the register. I'm not yeah. big on the hierarchy of miracles, but opening a cash <laughs> register, I think that's like that's I think that's pretty low on the on the miracle totem pole. <laughs> yeah, this this is a dude that, you know, gave Moses the power to part the fucking Red Sea. I think right. opening the cash register, while not not one of those ones they're going to be singing hosannas about, it would be kind of impressive. Yeah. And yet God still can't. So if you're if you're God, you should be able to do that. You can't do that. Fuck, you give me 10 minutes and like a bobby pin. I could probably figure that shit out. I mean, <laughs> if it's an older register, it has a no sale button. Yeah. That opens the register. Newer computerized registers don't have that because that makes it easy to steal. 
So yeah, f f th this is this is an easy check. Are you God? Will can you get things without paying for them? Yes. No, then you're not God. You're and going even, to jail. Even if you can't, if you're God, and you can't get things without paying for them, because you're God, which means you're lawful good. I don't feel like you're going to fucking steal because that was one of your very own commandments. Like you told us that. Thou shalt well, not steal. Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. Like you made those rules. He's a little flexible on those. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, <coughs> Passover. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> he's a little flexible in his own rules, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, let's let's go to. Florida. This is one of those stories we get where it raises we get many questions raised, but few answers. I love how every time you say let's go to Florida, there's like hesitation in your voice. I know we're all like, do we do we have to <laughs> do we have, have to? to? What if we just didn't? Do we have to? <laughs> Ferrari drives into Palm Beach Inlet. <gasps> oh, it certainly did. A Ferrari is being floated to a park after a person drove it into the Palm Beach Inlet. According to the Palm Beach Fire Rescue, the incident happened around 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Fire Rescue says the person got out of the car, did not need any medical uh, assistance. Palm Beach police are investigating the incident. That's all we get. That's the whole <laughs> fucking story. Not how I, I actually have a very quick story on this, and you've heard it, Tara. I was in Florida consulting, and this was... 10 years ago oh, yeah. with Google and Google Maps way back then. The maps weren't that great. And my, my friend and I were in the car looking at that bay, it telling us to drive forward. Mm. And I was like, somehow I don't think I'm going to believe that. So maybe they haven't updated the maps. <laughs> and the guy was like, ah, that, that's, <laughs> that's what the GPS told me to do. But the dude bailed. <laughs> was... Was this like an insurance thing? Was what happened here? Because all right, internet, you guys are faster than I am. I can't type right now. How much is a new Ferrari worth? A lot. <laughs> How much is is it? Because that is not a cheap car. It's also not no. a very good car. But yeah, I, it's it's one of those things where you do not get what you pay for when you purchase. Oh, Three hundred thousand at least. You just threw three hundred thousand dollars into the ocean. Two hundred fifty-seven to three hundred fifteen k. You threw a third of a million dollars <laughs> into the ocean. I mean, the good news is the airbags worked. <laughs> so that's good. I don't think you're going to be able to save the upholstery. No, no, you're not. But there, there is a very excited uh, leopard shark right now. Yeah, down there is like this is awesome. This is the best Look at day. This sweet new house. This is mine now. I'm gonna live in here. Cause you know I can understand. I do a fish apparently. I you know this is pure speculation because the article doesn't give a thing. I'm pretty sure this is an insurance thing because who's trying to sell one of these things must be a nightmare. If it's not that good, I guess, yeah. Well, Ferraris, you know. Think about cars. Ferraris, I buy cars based on what they look like. They're a status symbol. They they can they're, they're kind of like race cars. They're purpose designed to go really fast. In a you know, and they have you know they've got some features to them, some comfort features. But as a car, they're not very efficient. They're not very good. They're very difficult to repair. They're they're purpose designed cars. They're not tended to be you know easy. Yeah, so spending three hundred thousand on that, unless you got like three hundred thousand to just fuck around with, unless, right. you, unless you're right, wiping your ass with twenty dollar bills, you know that's that's not one of those things. They have recovered it. Yeah. If you want a sexy, sturdy car, get a Dodge Charger. I agree. I actually really like the Dodge Charger. I also like the Challenger. I'm, you know what? I'm not exactly feeling an, a surge of libido at the at the words Dodge Charger. Just no, call me crazy. Cool looking, though. Dodge Charger. I no. mean, it's kind of an ironic name. Dodge Charge. 
Move them right along, move them right along, because we've got a lot of time. Um, Don't worry, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be we worth gotta it. we got to get to the holes. Um, There's another one from... <laughs> this is from the Department of Kids Are Horrible. This child is never seeing daylight again. No Nintendo. No PlayStation. No Fortnite. Never again. Boy calls 911 after receiving snow pants as a Christmas gift. I mean, as a little kid, that's not the funniest gift. Provincial police say a seven-year-old boy called 911 to report his dissatisfaction with receiving snow pants as a Christmas gift. Sergeant Kerry Schmidt said the boy made the call at about 8 a.m. on Tuesday to complain about the gift. He said officers, officers ensured there wasn't an actual emergency at the boy's home. Schmidt says he believes the boy was spoken to about calling 911 for emergencies. Spoken to as in, oh, you get off the phone right now, boy. Or this is a kid that saw one of his parents call 911 because the McDonald's ran out of chicken McNuggets. <laughs> and he thinks this is how you fucking act in a society. 911 is not customer service. Yeah. 911 is not a joke in your town. And that goes double for white people. 911 yeah. is not customer service. Yeah. I mean, shit, tonight I had, you know, my neighbors were, were being loud as crap. I mean, you could hear the shit coming through the walls. And I was like, and people were like, call a noise complaint. I'm like, no, I'm just going to go over there and ask them politely to turn it down. I'm not going to and sick. That is the proper response. Like, I'm you not trying to talk to a person. I'm not going to sick to arm law enforcement on my neighbors. Before and I, I even like have increasingly in society, we don't have to talk to each other, and so we have fucking anxiety about it because we have the ability to be extremely selective about our interactions. We kind of need to find a way to get the fuck over that. We and do. just sometimes, like, talk to a dude and solve a problem. Last story before we get to the rectal spective. Um... This is just simply one of those things that... Yeah, this sounds like Florida. A Florida family's Whirlpool refrigerator exploded inside their home. But where did they hide? Um, West Palm Beach. A Florida family is grateful to be alive after they say their refrigerator exploded. The force was so powerful it caused significant damage in several rooms... Luckily, neighbor Joshua Perez heard the explosion and ran inside to help the family get out to safety. Um, there were fumes coming from everywhere. The fridge exploded. If you look at this angle right here, it expanded and expanded so much it bent the metal of the stove. The family's four months old Whirlpool wow. refrigerator was in pieces. I don't think that's supposed to happen. No. No, that's... I believe we call that a defect. Yeah. I wonder if it's still under warranty. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Whirlpool. Yes, uh, I'd like to report a, a, a warranty. <laughs> my, my fridge exploded. The fridge exploded. No, no, it exploded. No, I, I don't mean... <laughs> it went kaboom. Yeah, th no, I'm not talking about the freezer. There's, there's no, no, I mean, it's gone. The entire fridge is... There is a hole where the fridge used to be. A hole, <laughs> sir. A hole. <laughs> Bada boom. <laughs> Big bada like, boom. As Indiana Jones teaches us, the place to hide from a nuclear explosion is inside the fridge. Right. If the fridge explodes, where do you hide? That's like one of those catch 22s. Right. How do you hide from an explosion? That's not fair. If the fridge itself. Ex can a fridge explode so hard? That it, it can, can a fridge make an explosion so large that it's it, it itself cannot survive? And the answer is yes. Apparently, yes. Yeah. And neither can the stove. I just. <laughs> you can have neither hot nor cold food. That is one of the. I don't even understand how that's possible. I know there's a compressor inside the fridge. Yeah. A free like compressor. Fucking concerns me. 
Somebody in the channel says, is your refrigerator running? Yes, then get the fuck out! <laughs> now, now, Santa. <laughs> we won't be having that kind of language in front of the children. I uh, just, how, how even in God's name? <laughs> so, the first thing we've learned tonight, kids, is don't store your nitroglycerin in the fridge. No, don't do that. It's not stable, and there's going to be problems. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's gonna be splody for a while. Sorry, puppy. We're doing this all the time. We're coming up on midnight, puppy. I sorry, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, we got um, fifteen minutes. We've learned that uh, nine one one is not customer service, and it's not cute if you're seven and you're never playing that Nintendo Switch again, kid. Sorry, you'll get it back when you're twenty one. If you thought snow pants was bad for Christmas, wait for ten years of underwear. <laughs> okay. We've learned that Ferraris are kind of hard to sell, so you have to get creative. Um, we've learned but that fish are suckers and will buy anything. Apparently yeah. we've learned God. If you are in fact, God, you don't need help to get into a cash register. And finally, we've learned that crowdsourcing is uh, good for a lot of things, but not for fight club. No, now it's, it's that time. It's it. We love that. This is, there are some amazing ones folks every year. Uh, Barry Pacheski over at uh, Deadspin um, does a collection of items that have been removed from people's orifices. And these are official uh, cataloged from emergency rooms across the United States. And this is the kind of journalism that's keeping America alive. He Hi, is, Simba. I, I Go and follow him on uh, Deadspin because this this is this is priceless. We we need more of this. Let's get started and look at some of the things that he reported on. Hey, um, we go by as always. Objects are sorted by orifice working south. So let's start <laughs> with the ear. And the ear there there's some here that all right. Um. Placed crayon and ear on a dare. This reminds me of that kid in the Christmas story with his tongue stuck to the flagpole. Kids are stupid. Was bored at school, put part of a pet in ear. That's what you do when you're bored? You shove things in your ear? Um, always puts toilet paper in ear when showering, can't remove. Uh, oh. This one's magic. Popcorn kernels in both ears, quote, feeds her ears because her ears are hungry. That was on an ER report. There are, in fact, some connections between your ear, your airways and your digestive system. Yeah. But the most Which effective... Why, like, if you get cold, you get an earache. But you're not getting... Things from point A to point B via the ears. That's... Your ears aren't hungry, and if they are, you should clean them. Yes. You need to get a fucking Q-tip and some vinegar up in there. Because, damn. Tampon. Someone not, did not read not the works. Did not read the instructions. I know the female anatomy is <laughs> tough. Not how that works. Glow stick. And this is the one that really just made me cringe and pull back. Put bleach on a Q-tip to clean ear. Chemical burn. Yes. Jesus Christ. Vinegar. Hell, peroxide will do it. When I used to get ear infections as a kid, that's what we do. We put peroxide in, you sit like this for 10 minutes, it tickles like crazy, and then all the gunk comes out. Let's get to the nose. Um, rubber band. Okay. Yeah. That's not a shocker there. We'll get to it, Tara. We'll get to it. I see you forgot to it. We'll get to it. Um, butterfly. Like Maybe. a real one? Maybe. Was, was it alive? <laughs> Probably not. Pink, you, were, you know what she just reminded me of? Did you ever read Tales of Fourth Grade Nothing? I didn't. There's a point where Peter's little brother, Fudge, eats his pet turtle. He's like nine. He eats the pet turtle. 
Why? Because well, no. well, well, actually, you know, the little little his little brother was like five because he was a kid. He ate the turtle, and but Peter's how? Peter's question immediately when they got the turtle back was, "Is it still alive?" No, <laughs> no, it's how not. It was shell. He swallowed it. Little turtle. Well, I'm glad I didn't read that book. Now here's the one that that this there's a story here. Sneezed and a computer keyboard key came out, right nostril. Sneezed again, and another one almost came out. Was this a magician who failed? <laughs> How do the you way get that's written? It sounds like your concern isn't that they were there, <laughs> but that they came out. <laughs> Sneeze. Like, that sounds like somebody's surprised. A computer yeah. like, keyboard. Like, Holy fuck! How do you? They're like this big, square. I mean, I even I have the chiclet keyboard that's flat, but still. Oh, engineering dude said so. The key escaped. <laughs> da da da. All right, let's get. To, oh oh, let's see. Um, nose pool noodle. Oh, like the whole thing? With wow. no explanation beyond this, sex toy. That, and that's a broad category. Piece of steak. Let's move on to throat. Um, banana. Plastic toy banana. Had wife's earrings in his mouth and accidentally swallowed it. Why? I'll explain later. <laughs> Christmas tree branch. A guy inhaled like nettles or something a few years ago and legit like a fir tree was growing in his lung. I vaguely remember they, that. They had to surgically remove that shit. Don't do that. It's not safe. Salt from salt lamp. That's not salt you eat. No. No. And how? This is a, here's a little narrative. Uh, drinking coffee yeah. out of chip dip container that had some plastic seal in place and felt peace break off while drinking still in throat. Why were you drinking coffee out of a chip dip container? <laughs> yeah. What? Wash your damn dishes. Yeah. Or just get a plastic. Come on, man. <laughs> Here's another case of does not not reading the instructions. S throat lozenge still in blister pack. Yeah, it's not gonna work like that. And this is the one that impressed me: small transistor radio. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> this guy think it was a transformer. <laughs> now we're going down south. Yeah! This is, First, this is good stuff, kids. The penis! Pipe cleaner. Now, again, these are things that inserted, so this is in urethra, everybody. Pipe cleaner. Okay. Domino. Thin electrified rod. That's a thing. It's what they're sounding rods. That's a thing, but you gotta get it back out. Piece of hard white plastic that he broke off while working with crafts. With crafts. With his penis? <laughs> were, were you making shit? I too for... have occasionally wanted to slam a nail into a piece of wood with my dick. <laughs> were, were, are, are you selling dick crafted items on Etsy? That's a niche market. Yeah. Lovingly dick crafted. What a what a beautiful sideboard! Thank you. I made it with my dick. <laughs> um, fingernail clippings. Why? Six. What the fuck up fetish is that? Six to seven BB pellets. You didn't know? That's just fantastic aim, actually. <laughs> pew 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 pew. This hey, one's you're special. Dick in a shotgun. This one's special. Put soap on electrical wire inserted in penis. Man, that's some intent. <laughs> you don't got to clean up there. It does it itself. 
fork, pen, and jelly wrapper. At the same time? <laughs> that That's a combo. <laughs> fork, pen, and jelly wrapper. Oh, the last one. Oh, the last one. Yeah. 3M command strip plastic hook. You got to be sitting there in the ER and your pants have this unusual lump in them. Like that. Yeah. Does it stretch that far? Fuck, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you just open it up? Like I don't know. I don't sit around and test this shit out. Like, can you just open it up like an aperture? No. Because oh. I know the vagina is pretty stretchy. And now for the other option. The vagina. Baton? That's a twirling accident. I think that could literally be a twirling accident. It could Maybe. Be, but you shouldn't twirl naked. I was a twirler for 15 years. Wow. It's not a naked activity. <laughs> this is a great quote. Inserted a crayon in vagina. Can't remember if it came out. That's something you keep track of. Yeah. <laughs> Cap of deodorant spray. Wow. You don't spray it inside, you oh. psycho. The domino person. Domino. So we have we've got equal both penis and vagina. Dominoes in both. They came right. in as a couple. <laughs> glass to the boneyard. Glass paperweight. <sighs> Had an egg vibrator come apart in vagina, leaving part of it and five batteries in the vaginal canal. Um Toy plastic banana. They don't say if it was the same one that was stuck in some dude's, <laughs> someone's throat earlier. Penis ring. I can you see got, how that would happen. You got to size those right. Yeah, D that can happen. Gentlemen, gentlemen, if you're going to do the penis ring, don't don't exaggerate. You got to no. get the accurate sizing there. You got to be real with that shit. And of course, one of these. What? There's always one of these. <laughs> there's always a slip and fall. But it gets better. Slipped and fell on wet floor at home. Wait. And also has had sex toys stuck in vagina for eight months. Eight months. You could have birthed that motherfucker by now. <laughs> That's a baby now. You gotta support it. And now it's time. The rectum. Oh, the booty. The rectum. Everybody poops, but not everybody does this. Christmas ornament ball. Festive. Billiard ball. Painful. Yeah. SD cards. <laughs> you can't. Spy. You can't get your photos that way. You cannot Literally, get. That was a spy. That was that a spy. Was very important information. That's how they found the nude selfie. Oh. <laughs> Here's another one of the slipped and fall variety. Jumped on bed, toothbrush was on bed, and went up patient's rectum. Man, no, come didn't. on. No, it didn't. <laughs> don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to lie to the doctor. That's not how physics works, my dude. <laughs> Legally, the doctor can't tell anyone what you did. Don't lie to them. Right. You can't. Yeah, and they've seen it. They have you seen can't it. You can surprise them. They've fucking seen it. Toothbrush up the ass is the tamest thing they've seen all week. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> sat down on sofa and accidentally sat on ballpoint pen. Pen lodges in rectum. Sure, Jan. Plastic pencil case. iPad stylus. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Lube bottle with cap on. Not how you use it. It's not very effective that way. It's it's not by osmosis. Leg of telescope. Oh. Push drugs up rectum using a lighter. Was able to retrieve the drug bags, yet believe lighter got stuck. How? If the lighter went <clears throat> blast. Travel size mouthwash bottle. Small shampoo bottle, full size shampoo bottle, full size aerosol can. Did you just cram your entire <laughs> travel? I mean, I know trying the to get. TSA is fucking serious. 
I know trying to get your liquids on the plane. They don't fuck around with that three ounce shit. <laughs> Took a soda bottle with fireball whiskey via his rectum, stuck bottle in rectum, and squeezed. No! No! Don't do that! No! Um, seven ounce beer bottle, candle in condom. All right, you tried. Oh. I think it. I think it's midnight. It's the time. It's almost. Almost. All right. Um. Yeah, things are exploding. We these are so good though. Um squirted mixture of bleach and water into rectum wanting to prevent AIDS. Hi, right, it's 2018. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. The fire engine, the fire department's going off. Light bulb. Handle of broom. Wow. Has vibrator in rectum and tried to remove it with screwdriver and lacerated rectum. Object in colon now. Significant amount of string. Sig and finally, significant amount of string. What is significant? I wanted to be Spider-Man. And as you can tell, right here, right on the dot, as you can tell... Welcome to 2019, everyone. Ooh. Shit's blowing up. The dog's borking. The fire engines are going off. It shit even blew up here. Yeah. And it's raining. Welcome to 2019. Don't be on this list next year. Don't stick anything up your ass. Don't cram things in your holes that aren't supposed to be there. There are better places to keep your string. 